Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I don't know if it's going to line up with my voice or not. Uh, this is Collective Coffee. So for today, I've seen that it's what, Friday, Friday, July 19th. <coughs> I just saw that Microsoft, there's like a global Microsoft outage or something. Um, I saw locally last night our uh, first responders were like, uh, the local numbers aren't working or something and the dispatch wasn't working. So, um, apparently there's like planes grounded and stuff like that from Microsoft, from some software things. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen too much about it yet, but I did see that it was happening. Um, when they talk about the bank going down, they talk about it being on a Friday, so today's Friday. Um, <laughs> if you feel like you need to pull some cash out, do it. Um, we are suffering some sort of sickness. It's pretty gnarly. Um, I know that, like, oh my cats. I know, like, H1N1 is going around, or some sort of bird flu is going around and, like, picking up pace. Um, I saw that there have been cases in Colorado and Michigan, um, so, interesting. Are we doing a pandemic 2.0? It feels like it may be. Um, so get yourselves in order, get your houses in order, um, buy the things you need or organize the things you have, both. Um, Grinder is a gay app and it's been going crazy in Milwaukee. Um, the servers have been going down because we all know that Republicans are gay. That's why they they hate the gayness within themselves. It's so anyway, the call is coming from in the house. Uh that's a big joke online. Um I don't really have much to say about Donald Trump's uh situation. Apparently Joe Biden has COVID. Uh, there was a bomb that hit Tel Aviv yesterday. Um, children are dying. I hate waking up to the news. Um, this feels like an absolute... I haven't watched any of the RNC. I don't know how people can watch that. Um, but... Um, we are living under global fascism, so please acknowledge that, you know, um, <laughs> super real. Uh, yeah. Um, fires. It's a really hard time to be alive. Um, I haven't been on TikTok the past couple days. I'm having to mother a little hardcore the past week. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I do think that there's a lot of conversation about Joe Biden pulling out of the election. Um, they all suck. Uh, I'm so disappointed in humanity. So if you feel that, I get it. Um, it's hard to be a good human and like constantly undo the wrongdoings of others by like just continuing to be good. Um, it's really hard. So if that's you, I you're not alone uh, please keep going don't let them you know influence you to be a bad human because like it just doesn't matter it does matter <laughs> and like being a good human is hard but we're the ones that are going to change it you know and the small things do count they do matter um I need to hear this too because I have to cancel some of the community stuff that I've organized this week because we got sick. 
Um, and so I feel like I'm letting people down. Um, but we're sick. I would let even more people down if I shared germs and they got sick. And then they had to, you know, cancel their stuff. Um, so just remember, like, if the universe is telling you to rest, if the universe is forcing you to cancel something, honor that. Ashley, honor that. <laughs> um, and, you know, get into the well-being. Get back into well-being. Oh. And for me, that looks like not... Because my immune system is down, I'm not... My ability to take in negative stuff, which is just the, this, the, the world as a whole, um, is a little less. I'm disassociating a little bit to get better. Uh, and... I think it really sucks to be watching a genocide live multiple genocides um and like life goes on i think one of my biggest fears is being an invisible death like dying invisibly like i live pretty invisibly but like dying invisibly seems really really sad um but then like i see the way that people are dying so loudly and the silence around that, and I'm like, we're all gonna die silently. Like, the people who have been afforded, like, a transition that people have celebrated the life of or acknowledged the death of are really lucky people. Um, and the balance of life and death right now is, you know, not balanced. Um, and as people who are alive, it can be really hard to watch so much death and witness it. And I want to remind you that witnessing it is really important. Because um, like I said, I think our fear as humans, as any living being, is perishing without any acknowledgement. Like that, that, that would suck. And there's a lot of people who have who have gone that way the past year or so. Um, longer than that, of course. But I just want you to think about that. Think about how sad it is to... Like, especially with the scope of like what happened to Trump. I believe that was Hollywood. Um... <laughs> There's a lot of stuff coming out about, like, the latter. Um, and so I'm watching the way that they're villainizing this kid who had, like, a part in BlackRock. Um, and, like, the scapegoat of the situation. I'm also seeing the way that they're... The person who died, you know, because of that the t-shirts and stickers and Facebook profile pictures being changed to that picture, that image. Um, the people showing up at the RNC with a Kleenex tape to their ear in solidarity. And then thinking about the little, like, especially what came out this week, the, the Down syndrome, autistic, nonverbal 24 year old in Palestine who was mm, first abandoned his family was ordered to evacuate and leave him and then the IOF uh, put a dog on him and he spoke words he said enough my darling to the dog who was mauling him my son is nonverbal um, but he can speak when he needs to um, and that and then I saw someone from Gaza make a post about that and be like, even in your death, they did you wrong. They didn't talk about these things about you. And 
it really sucks to be on this planet right now, um, but we need the good people to keep being good. Um, and keep feeling the injustice so that it fuels your commitment to justice, you know? Don't fall for the bullshit. Try and pivot and do whatever you can to make your little corner of the world a better place. And if you're doing that, hopefully, for me too, my corner will grow and grow and grow. And when it is my time to go, I will be remembered as someone who did something. I hope y'all have a good one.